Pregnancy can have a devastating impact upon a woman's body. Nowhere is this more apparent than on a woman's abdomen. Following pregnancy, it's not unusual for women to develop loose, saggy skin with redundant abdominal wall tissue and weakened rectus muscles, stretch marks, and fat accumulation. When this scenario arises, it's not unusual for women to attempt diet and exercise without success. This can adversely impact self-esteem, self-image, and self-confidence, along with just how clothes fit. Under these circumstances, it's not unusual for women to seek the help of a plastic surgeon. Under these circumstances, a variety of treatment options exist. These include abdominoplasty surgery, mini abdominoplasty surgery, and liposuction. The choice of procedure depends on a variety of factors. These include the patient's anatomic findings, their aesthetic goals, and their social situation. When patients have large amounts of loose, redundant skin with weakened underlying muscles, abdominoplasty is the procedure of choice. This procedure involves making an incision across the lower abdomen at the level of the pubic hairline. The incision is carried to the level of the muscle and then the skin is lifted off of the underlying muscle to the level of the rib cage. The belly button is detached from the surrounding structures and the underlying muscles are tightened. The skin is then pulled in a downward direction and the excess skin between the belly button and the pubic hairline is removed. The wounds are then closed. A small opening is made and the belly button is brought out through that wound. The mini abdominoplasty is a far lesser procedure that is utilized when the loose skin is confined to the area below the belly button. This procedure does not detach the belly button and removes the excess skin through an incision at the level of the pubic hairline. In cases where the muscles are relatively tight and there is no excess skin, liposuction is an excellent alternative. It's important to understand that these procedures can dramatically impact the changes that have occurred following pregnancy. It's also important to understand that the best results occur when the proper analysis of the problem has occurred and the appropriate technique is applied to the appropriate problem. This requires a careful analysis, which in many cases will require the use of imaging devices. When this approach is utilized, not only are results excellent, but patient satisfaction rates are high as well.